Well, new at 11 tonight, California's Attorney General is issuing a strong statement to the Oakland Unified School District, saying that any planned school closures will be monitored by his department to ensure that civil rights laws are not violated. This after his department completed an investigation into the district's rescinded plans to close several Oakland schools, saying it would have largely impacted black students. Here's NBC Barrier's Pete Serratos. Today, I kind of smiled that... Um... <laughs> You know, that victory, sometimes you have to wait for them, but that they're really sweet when they do come. Pecolia Manigo is more than satisfied with today's announcement by California Attorney General Rob Bonta. In a letter released today by the AG's office regarding an investigation into the Oakland Unified School District's now rescinded plans to close several schools back in 2022, the Attorney General says it would have disproportionately impacted black and low-income elementary students. And the letter also advises OUSD that any future closures should not violate state civil rights laws that protect closures from having adverse impacts on communities of color. Manigo helped file the initial complaint to launch the investigation into the school closures, sparking months of demonstrations from OUSD parents like herself. That the families that participated smile a little bit tonight that they took that time, they made those sacrifices, um, and that the attorney general is standing with them. You have to serve the peace of our children. Rochelle you Jenkins was one of the parents who took part in a months long occupation of Parker Elementary since it was one of the schools on the closures list. She's confident the attorney general's stance on future closures will protect underserved communities. This right here is a victory and a win for OUSD and the parents and the students and just everybody that's been a part of this thing. The attorney general says his department will monitor the district on future closures and strongly recommends public input on any of those decisions. We reached out to OUSD for a comment, but have yet to hear back. In the East Bay, Pete Serratos, NBC Barry News.